All right, guys, in my Max 6, we are back at Fit Nation in Norwalk, and uh, we're here with Milos and the beautiful Jenny Worth. Jen, uh, so we're just about, I think, eight days from the Tampa Pro, where you're going to be defending your title, and then after that, it's the Olympia. Uh, so uh, I was glad that to catch you because I really wanted to have you back on the channel uh, leading up to the show. Um, I've been following, we've been following your progress on Instagram and social media. And you're great, and um, you always train like an animal, <laughs> as you did again today. So I just wanted to kind of catch up with you and see your frame of mind. And I know it's been a very, very tough year for you last year. A lot has happened, uh, but you're still at it, uh, and uh, you look obviously amazing. So how is uh, how's this prep, and then how do you feel um, at this time? You know, right right before defending your title. Um, I feel amazing right now. It's, a, it's been a challenge this year. It's uh, been a life change for me. So just readjusting, but um, I've given it my everything. You know, my mom almost lost her life. She's on hospice now. So I've dedicated this prep to her. And um, I'm closer, so I only have to drive five minutes to the gym now, which makes life so much easier. It's actually way better on my back. I've actually just given everything that I have left inside of me. I've taken risks. I've done more flips. I've um, trained harder. Uh, me and Milos went growing on the back. I showed up to him on my off season, whatever they call it, off season. Whenever I didn't want to show up, he was here to help me mentally through everything. And we just, you know, kept working, kept working, kept working. I went back to Oksana. She helped me with the routine. And I just, they said bring Jenny Worth back. So I got the old Jenny Worth, <laughs> and that routine is here. And um, I feel really good. So I've made a lot of muscle gains. I've made a lot of fitness uh, gains, my strength moves are better, and um, I'm just here to do my best, and I pray that God's with me that day, and shows the world all the hard work, and all the hours, and all the dedication I have put into my um, work outs and routine practices. She just finished her crazy back <laughs> workout, yeah, and then she's on no carbs, you know, so yeah. um, uh, it, we're only, you know, less than, I mean, barely a week away from the show. Milos, how do you feel about this this girl? Because she is, we always, you know, your theme is the warrior, you know, warrior, Jenny is warrior, and, and that's really a good fitting team for her because she, she just never quits. Uh, like you said, failure is not an option. Quitting is not an failure option. Failure is not an option. I mean, if one word that defines her, it will be warrior, you know, really. I train a lot of guys, you know that for, for many years in Coliseum Gym, Hidetada, you know, many crazy guys, warriors also, but uh, she is, uh, you know, for me exactly female version of Hidetada, ultimate warrior that never stops. He's Bushido, spirit, uh, samurai, you know, she's at that level. I mean, there's absolutely nothing ever super heavy, super uh, high reps, 100 reps, squeezes, 10, 9, 8 seconds in just about every exercise. As you've seen today, I mean, on zero carbs, wasted, tired, you know, she has no quitting in her. Now, I know her since 90s, oh, yes, yeah, back in uh, those times, and then she disappeared. And for somebody to have a baby, get out of shape, you know, get the kind of injuries that she had, and come back, follow, win the pro show, follow for Miss Olympia at the age of over 40, you know, it's like uh, unbelievable. So this year, again, through all the adversities, <laughs> she put her mind back together, and you see, we've been doing this every week. You know, she put enough muscle now that uh, it's a borderline, maybe even too much. Now we are, we are there where we want it to be. And uh, the rest is gonna be the history. She's gonna perform, and uh, you know, I'm a competitor, I always respect all the uh, competitions. I was talking about this mental, uh, winner's mentality with you once. Uh, she has a winter, uh, winner's mentality and she's going there to win, respecting everybody else. I think she's going to get her title defended and go back to the Olympic stage. Let, let's talk about her warrior spirit because, you know, a lot of time people, we just see um, the athletes, you know, going through, you know, competition and training and dieting and all that stuff. And we all go through that, you know, but what you don't see is what's going on behind the scene. And sometimes there's breakup, there's deaths in the family, there's all kinds of things. And she's pretty much been hit with everything you could think of this year. Um, and I'm sure having someone like you as her support system and Oksana and people that are really good. And I know she's got great clients also that have been there for her. Um, but it shows a lot of um, uh, two things. You know, number one, that she's got a lot of inner strength 
uh, but also that uh, people care so much about her because she's a good person that they're there for her, and I think that's great, right? Yeah, I can just answer quickly, and then you can answer the uh, long. She's an angel as, as a human being, you know, we all know that, right? And her mom was in life support, she went through the you know, major, major changes in yeah. her life. And it was very, very challenging, but that's one thing about that uh, women's mentality. She will never quit, and I really, I expose her. I cannot go home with having a mediocre workout. So I know that I have to punish her, you know, challenge her, you know, do something super crazy like we did again. But as a, her coach, I have to give her that. And she has never, you know, deviated one inch from my request. Everything that I ever asked her to do, she did. So, yeah, I could not do it. Uh, There's no feeling sorry for herself, ever. No, no, never. And uh, she's exactly grabbing the challenge. You know, so while somebody's going, you know, to the gym to endure the punishment, she actually enjoys the pain and, uh, you know, she's challenging with, with anything that I throw at her. I mean, uh, she's like 120, you know, 5 to 130 pounds. I was giving her 200 uh, pound cable uh, rows, 120 pound dumbbell rows, you know, unilateral. You know, some crazy stuff that, you know, when you project this, you know, for us guys, can you do our body weight like this? Uh, it would be very challenging. Yeah. So, uh, she is... Uh, definition of the warrior. Jenny, do you do you feel like as tough as this past year has been, it's making you a stronger person and it's actually, absolutely. I don't want to say help you, but in the end, yeah. A absolutely. It's made me such a stronger person because I was able to come through stuff that some people, it would take them down a deep, dark path. Like the stuff that I went through this year with the breakup and losing my grandmother, my mom almost dying. Like that could have took me down a deep, dark path. It could have got me in depression. I could have started eating bad. I could have went into drugs, you know? And those are the things that I fought through. And this was the first time ever I came out of it with nothing. I wasn't going to alcohol. I didn't go to drugs. I didn't go to anything. I went to my feelings and becoming a stronger person. I went into my work. I had, thank God I'm blessed with clients that are there for me. They saw me go through it. It was a lot that I went through, but mentally I feel like right now I can't be touched mentally. Like, my heart is, at, last year I couldn't even handle a routine because my heart was out of shape. My heart is so conditioned right now. My mind is so conditioned. I feel like, God, life, you can throw me anything right now and I'm going to come at you with it. So I just feel like, through all this, I've definitely become a stronger warrior. Wow. So what's the plan? I've obviously, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, she's going to defend a title, get a title, go back to the Olympia. And then um, hopefully we, we do better than eight, for sure, at the Olympia. But then after that, what is it that you want to keep doing? I mean, you, you're doing so good. It's like you're on your second win right now. <laughs> you could do this for a few more years. That's you're like I, Dexter. <laughs> that's what I ask myself. Like, when do you, when do you stop? Yeah. Like, when do you... But, you know, like this year there's five girls that are out. It's like, is there a possibility I could win? It just depends on who shows up. What do they show up as? That's right. So if my health is good and I feel good and my back is good and it's not interrupting my life, you know, there's seasons. Of course, there's a season where your business lags, but you pick up the business so you know that during the season, you know, you can have a little bit of lag time. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, why quit if my body's telling me not to? If I'm, you know, my skin's not as young, I'm not as young as these girls. But like, why quit if I'm right there? That's my thing. I don't know. I'm asking myself that. When when is enough? When do I stop? I guess you, you take know? it one day at a time, one show at a time. Just take it one show at a time. I feel like I'm jumping here because uh, I retired probably way too early and I regret it, right? And uh, even Kiritada was thinking of retirement. I don't even don't think about it. Look this at this is, year. Yeah, look for at him. You know, that's his best. Uh, we are who we are, competitors, I mean, professionals that have been on Olympia stage, I mean, we've been in the pinnacle of the sport. Why retire? I mean, uh, uh, this is something that keeps us going. As you can see, I mean, uh, this is the physique of a 40 plus year old, right? The mother of a child and, and uh, been through hell and back. You know, so I would be the first one to tell her, as a friend, you know, as a coach, as a friend, don't even think of retirement life. And uh, really, a human body has proven uh, our cells, uh, our cells, you can, you can uh, uh, replicate all this for many years and uh, uh, 
keep a meal like this 10 years from now uh, and even in better condition. I'm sure there's no reason not to. Uh, being in Europe, uh, I've seen some gentleman 76 years old in uh, Spain, uh, 75 year old in Holland. They would put me to shame if they take the clothes off. Really? I, I, I see, I'm serious. You know, so like, uh, of course, then I said, like, what is my excuse? Um, I'm 55, yeah, I got to be back in, in shape. Uh, and look at that, sir. Uh, Unbelievable. I hope he wins. You know, I, I would like to see, you know, he's my sentimental favorite. Uh, and uh, I would like to see him, but uh, don't expect that uh, he's going to retire. I don't know, he sounds really confident this year, but I see him every day and... Yeah? Yeah. Uh, well, let's we'll see about the Olympia, uh, but as far as Jenny, yeah. no, no way she's retiring. Well, you, don't let her. you look really happy, I gotta say, Jenny. You look, you know, I, I, I shot you last year, we shot you the, the year before, and I think you're just getting you into your groove again. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, like Milo said, you stopped competing for a while, it takes you a while to get back into your groove, and, and even Jay was saying after the comeback in 2013, towards the end of the prep, things were finally starting to click. So I think giving more time, if you had given himself one more year, things would have been even better. So I think you did the right way with no expectation. You try, always try to do your best and uh, you keep just you just keep getting better. So it's obvious. And you'll be really happy and we're happy for you and I'm sure you're gonna do great in, in nine days and even better at the Olympia and we'll be there to see you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. Milos, thank you so much. Thank you. Always a pleasure and best of luck you guys. Thank you. 
Survive. 